What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm assuming you watching this video just like me are a car guy. And just like all car guys know, there's one interior mod that stands out the most from every other mod because it makes the biggest difference to your driving experience because it's what you're holding in your hands the whole time you drive your car. It's definitely gonna have to be custom steering wheels. So as a lot of you guys know, some of the best aftermarket steering wheels you can get for your car are actually the OEM steering wheels that came with your car, but they're redesigned, refinished, and upgraded. A lot of them also have really cool features like LED indicators inside the steering wheel at the top portion of it, or flat bottom designs as well. And some of the best benefits from steering wheels like these is that they keep your OEM fitment, so it slips right off, slips right on. It also keeps your OEM airbag, so your safety is still there as well. And on top of that, over everything, it looks fairly OEM, just upgraded and looks much nicer than the stock. The only issue is that there's only one downside with these steering wheels and that they're crazy expensive. So you guys guessed it. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys step by step in detail on how to make your own custom DIY OEM steering wheel for one third of the price. So you could basically get your steering wheel looking like this to this. So for my specific car, I actually drive a BMW E46. So this tutorial is going to be very detailed for my E46 owners. But this whole thing applies to almost any car out there. And the process of taking off the steering wheel and putting it back on will be almost identical for all my BMW owners. But with all that being said, let me show you guys on how I upped my interior game for only one third of the price. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal on your battery. So just a 10 millimeter bolt right at the negative terminal. They just want to undo and then just pull it to the side. So now that the negative battery terminal is disconnected, you wanna go ahead and start pulling off the steering wheel. So the first thing you have to do is grab two flatheads or two screwdrivers, but it is preferred if they're flatheads. And you basically wanna go behind the steering wheel. There's a hole right here. And then there's another hole exactly on the other opposite side right here. And basically what you wanna do, you wanna stick them in both at the same time and push towards the inside of the steering wheel towards the airbag and then there's basically two clips that are holding in the airbag and then the airbag just pops out so once you go ahead and do that the airbag is going to pop out and then once the airbag's out you just want to go ahead and disconnect those cables so basically to get a rough idea of what you're supposed to do to get the airbag out you basically want to stick the flat head in and then there's a spring right here that you want to push towards the inside of the car just like that and you want to do that basically at the same time on each side and then the airbag just pops out so now you want to go ahead and disconnect those cables right there. So now that those cables are disconnected, you can go ahead and undo this 16 millimeter bolt that holds the steering wheel. So after the center bolt is out, you can simply just pull the steering wheel towards yourself and then it should just slip off. All right guys, so now that the steering wheel inside, I also went ahead and quickly took off the trim piece that sits on top of the steering wheel. And basically that just comes out with two Torx 20s. They'll sit on the back side of the steering wheel right there and there. And then there's also another one right there another one right there that you undo and then basically the trim piece sits like this on top of it and then once those bolts are out you can just pull it from the top side over here and then the whole thing just pops out so before we go ahead and start refinishing the steering wheel i'm just going to quickly show you guys the kit i got so basically this is everything that came in the packaging it came with the thread it came with the needles a trim tool and some double-sided tape and then of course the wrap itself so basically depending on what wrap you get it's going to depend on how it looks and what specific style you're looking for in specific. But for me, I optioned out for carbon fiber on the bottom and on the top of the wheel, included with the red stripe, and then just perforated leather on the sides, as well as the M stitch colors. On top of that, I'm also curious on how this carbon fiber is gonna turn out when it's finally on the steering wheel, because I have seen some pictures of this kit online and it does look really good, but I don't know, I'm still a bit nervous for some reason. But with that being said, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that the steering wheel is cleaned up all around. You wanna make sure this whole rim is nice and clean. Make sure there's no grease on it or anything. And once that's cleaned up, you can go ahead and start stretching around the wrap and just make it fit onto the steering wheel. And if you have a stripe, you really want to make sure that it sits directly in the middle. Once it's wrapped around the steering wheel, you can still adjust it a little bit, but you just want to get the general shape in. So now that you have the wrap laying over the steering wheel and you have a rough idea of where you want to switch it, you basically just want to grab that double-sided tape that came in the packaging and then just place it on the inside of the wrap. So then it gets a nice grip on the steering wheel when you want to wrap it properly. So now, as you guys can see, I have the double-sided tape all around on the inside of the wrap. 
And then I also went ahead and prepped up my thread. So I took about an arm's length and then I cut it and then I double knotted it right at the end. So it hooks onto the steering wheel nice and well. All right guys, so I basically just went ahead and stitched up the bottom portion of the steering wheel. And this is how it's looking so far. As you guys can see the stitching. So you get a nice real close look at it. That's how it looks like. So basically to get the top portion done, you're gonna need a thread that's much longer than the ones you use for down here. So I would say easily about three to four arm lengths. And it's better to be safe than sorry to put extra. Then if you come short, you're gonna have to take everything out and do it again. So you might as well just make it longer and just cut it off at the end when you're done. And so basically how I'm starting the thread is that it's gonna be pretty hard to show you guys because the pal shifters are gonna be in the way of the camera. So basically imagine this is on the other side. All I'm basically doing is poking a hole to the inside of the thread so basically right here and i'm going from the inside out and so basically after i poke out the needle it comes out like this i want to pull it all the way out until the knot hits the other side so it holds it nice and tight and then basically i'm just going to go under this thread like this pull it all the way through and then pull the whole string with it and so basically say for example imagine this area is that where you have to start the thread I'm just showing it here because it's the easiest spot to get the camera nice and good. But basically you just wanna go under the thread like this, go to the other side and then go under the other thread like that. And then you basically just wanna make sure you're going under the thread and not poking through the thread. You wanna make sure it's under the thread. And basically you pull it out, you pull all the way, and then you go to the next one on the other side. And then you want, again, wanna make sure you're going under the thread like that, pull it through. And the next one on this side just like that and then you of course want to make sure it's nice and firm and tight when you pull it but you also don't want to pull too hard because then the threads are going to start ripping as well so just get, make sure it's nice and firm but not extremely tight and all you really want to do is just repeat that process the whole way until you reach to the final part and honestly just take your time on it it is extremely meticulous but just take your time on it Focus, make sure you're not going through the thread, make sure you're under the thread. And depending on which thread pattern you guys want to do, you can search up thread patterns online and see how people stitch them up themselves. But this is the easiest way to do it. And to me, it looks perfectly fine. And I think it looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna do this thread pattern. So now I'm just gonna do this whole thread of the top portion. And then I'll show you guys how I end the thread. All right guys, so I'm basically done almost all the stitching and I'm on the last few stitches. So basically, do you guys see how that leather piece right there is kind of sticking up and out the way? Just like that. So basically what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be adding two more stitches, one roughly in the middle, like right there, and then another one right at the end. So then I can just pull it back, make it nice and flush. And then I'm just gonna make a knot with the last little bit of string and then finish it off. All right guys, so now, the stitching is fully complete. And I just roughly fitted the trim back on to see how it looks. And this actually looks so good. So over here, you'll notice like a wave, but once I push the trim down and I screw it in, it completely goes away. And overall, it actually just looks really flush and it actually came out really good. And just to kind of show you guys how I went with the stitching, that's how it looks. So now that we have the steering wheel wrap, nice and complete. Now we have to address the steering wheel trims. So in terms of the top trim, there's just eight Phillips screws on the back of it that are really small. So I just unscrewed those. And basically that's the piece that comes out. Just wanna make sure you don't lose the screws. Once I have the back portion out of that, this one just comes off like this. So there's nothing really you have to remove. So basically from what I know, you have four options you can go with in terms of the trim pieces. The first option being you can leave it completely stock. The second option being you go ahead and wrap these trim pieces. This top portion is a really hard piece to wrap because there's buttons that you're gonna have to wrap around, which personally I don't feel like doing. 
because it's gonna be really hard pulling off those curved edges with the wrap. The third option being you can go ahead and search up online and you can actually go ahead and pick up carbon fiber pieces that are already pre-made in carbon fiber that you just directly bolt onto your steering wheel that completely replaces these pieces. Or the fourth option being, and being the option that I wanna go with, is that I'm probably gonna go ahead and see if I can find a local shop that can hydro dip these pieces in carbon fiber. So you basically just have to search your area locally and see if you can find any shops that do hydro dipping. Most custom upholstery shops do hydro dipping. So I'm gonna go ahead, give a couple calls and see if I can go get these hydro dipped. All right guys, so about a week later, I went ahead and I got them hydro dipped. So I basically just found the local shop. I searched up on Google and this is how they came out. The finish itself came out really good, but I feel like the place I took it to, they were just kind of like rushing it and like they damaged the trim pieces over here. I think when they're trying to pull it out, they use like an X-Acto knife or something and scratched it up. And then there's also one spot right here. If you guys can see, it just looks weird. It's like a bubble kind of. But the finish itself is really nice. You know, on this part over here, like it looks really nice, but they scratched up the buttons over here, like around the corners. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but... I did complain to him and he discounted the price a little bit, but overall it did come out really good. Like I'm pretty happy with it. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and swap out this emblem right here because it, it does look scratched up and I just don't want it staring right in my face when I'm driving the car the whole time. So I'm gonna quickly swap this and then we're gonna hook this up to the steering wheel and then put everything back together. All right guys. So I hooked up the trim pieces back to the steering wheel. I still have to reconnect the steering wheel, but this is how it's looking like so far. And guys, this just looks so good. Look at that. And just keep in mind, this was a completely OEM steering wheel that we DIY'd at home. And now it looks like this. It looks so good. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I brought the car outside so you guys can see the steering wheel in the daylight. And guys, you can't tell me this doesn't look amazing. Just look at that. The carbon fiber trim pieces in the middle were definitely the last piece that we were missing. And it just looks so good. Look at that, guys. This literally looks like a fully custom steering wheel. The only thing it's missing is that some of the ones online that I've seen have like the LED shift indicators up here or like maybe a flat bottom design. But for an OEM steering wheel, guys, you can't deny this looks really good. You really just got to get time with it. Make sure you get the stitching nice, good and clean. And guys, this will actually come out amazing. I'm super pumped with how this came out. And also considering that this only costs one third of the price that it would to get a custom steering wheel, guys, for the money, this is probably one of the best bang for your buck interior mods you could do. It just looks so good and so clean. Other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys found it helpful and if you guys have any questions or comments you can just leave them down below but i'm more than happy to answer and if you guys want to see more of this car you guys can go ahead and follow me on instagram i'll leave it on the page right here i post a lot of cool edits on instagram and i also find it really cool connecting with you guys but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one peace